Hello and welcome to Let's Try. We're trying Balsa Model Flight Sim. Now, I know this is going to sound like a weird one to you. Maybe. Maybe. For, it's, it's the people who know will know. But basically, this is uh, this is the next game by the developer or the the spearhead developer of Kerbal Space Program. So right away, I was I was kind of interested in it. Um, but also conceptually, I think it's a really cool idea. Um, just to just to set some ground rules right away, this is uh, an early access. This is just just come out. I was actually part of the. Um, I got to join the beta and I really wanted to do a video on it, but they're like, don't, don't do that. So I'm like, okay, all right, I won't do that. But, um, I really, I've been wanting to do a video on this and it just came out. It's, it's 20 bucks Canadian. So it's probably the more like 15. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to scale up, uh, the more it, uh, gets complete. But anyway, let's, let's have a look at it. Uh, start tutorial. Actually, no, I'm going to skip the tutorial. I know what I'm doing. Don't worry about it. All right, well, so this is a, a personal problem I found is that there is actually no invert for player look, which I, I have a personal problem with, but it's okay. It's an early access, and uh, I'm sure basically, uh, you know, there's hundreds of us. We still invert our axes. So uh, what is Balsa, Balsa model, si like, air, you know, flight simulator? Um, it's not unlike Kerbal in a lot of ways. Um, it's basically you're, we're building planes and flying them in this pretty pretty pleasant looking space uh and we can take on missions and such we're, we're gonna take a, a mission from this guy here so we're gonna go ahead and build 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 a vehicle this is the game right you're you're basically you know there's two parts of this game you're you're building and you're flying your planes so i'm having difficulties hold on a second Listen, I know I skipped the tutorial, which was already going to set me up for some uh, schadenfreude, but I, I did play this. All right, so uh, that's actually my bad. You got to do your first flight. You got to do your first flight before <laughs> before you can build anything because you don't get you don't you don't start with any money. So we are uh, this is this is uh, your very first test flight and you basically you get this cool glider plane. Um, I used to buy like dollar store, like the the little wooden planes. I mean, nothing is nice as this, but uh, this is like kind of semi nostalgic for me. But oh man, I turned that sound down quite a bit, but I'll have to turn it down even more. Um, we can land it on this on this building. I'm using the keyboard and mouse. You could very uh, you, you probably would want to use a a joystick for this game. Now, now that we've done our first flight, we can actually like build a plane. We should build a plane. We can pick our our, our first part and basically build from there. We could like, well, that that looks ridiculous. We don't want to do that. Fortunately, my my time in the beta has is going to serve me well here, and uh, hopefully, I won't <laughs> like forget forget you need money in order to you know actually do anything. So we can start with something really simple like this. Something I really appreciate about this game, um, even right now, is it has actually like really robust flight uh, mechanics, flight like physics. Like you can you can get really creative with your plane, and um, and it it knows like how it's gonna fly, and I, I I think that's just like really impressive. So we can put some wings on this guy now. Go ahead and do that, and you get like really specific about how your wings are gonna look how they how they uh you know interact with the the wind how they interact with air in general and the game's got it figured out it's got this stuff on lock that'll help stabilize it a little bit i saw for a moment there it almost had flight but not quite yet then we can, uh, what else can we put on here? We can put on, well, we want to put on some uh, control surfaces, right? That's how you actually like control the plane. We can put these just like on the edge here. I, I don't want to leave those uh, th these wings looking like this. Oh yeah, get some sweep. The sweep is good. So, okay, now we've, we've actually, like as far as the game is concerned, we've officially made a plane that can fly. So this, this plane now has like, 
according to this, like uh, max speed of 200 kilometers before it, you know, loses stability, I guess. Um, again, I, I'm not a plane expert. I just really like, uh, I do like Kerbal and I really like the, the dev who makes this stuff is like, oh, wow, you can get some like big ass wings. Um, I, I like, you know, playing around with editors and stuff. I, I find stuff like this is like really cool um, and creative. We would also like to have um, a, a, a tail. And that's that's how you control, I believe it, it's the yaw. That's how you control the yaw. Now we have lost um, our, our stability now. I'm not sure when that happened. So if we try and fly this, I mean, it will be very funny. We could just try and fly this. Okay, that's that's kind of making things... Well, I mean, that that just looks ridiculous, honestly. Okay, so I, f I forgot about the center of mass. Center of mass is actually, a, like, a really important part of this, isn't it? Um, so, ideally, we would like to get our control surface on the wings closer to the surf center of mass. Uh, and then that, that way, we can actually, like, hope to, to be able to pitch the plane a little bit forward and backwards. I think I'm going to go ahead and make these straight again. And there we go. That's, there we go. Things are, are actually starting to come together now. Now let's try and uh, add the tail again. There we go. We have a control surface. And you don't have to, like, set up the, the control surfaces to different key bindings. The game actually just intuitively knows, which I do really appreciate it. Uh, they, they've, they've made this, like, very accessible in that regard. Um, some of these parts, like, the, there's a, there's not a lot of parts, but even the ones that we're seeing, we can't access all of them yet. Like, wheels, we need uh, more experience. We're going to have to do a, a, a couple of test flights. It's not just that you're building the plane. It's not just that you're buying the parts for the plane. But also, like, the plane exists in a physical space in this world. Like, this... This is the plane. There's only one of these. There's only one bad plane, right? And so if I, like, fly my plane into the ocean or the lake there, you don't just get the plane back. Like, you can't... You could buy another plane, right, with maybe the same design, but not really. Like, you're... you're you, If you want to tweak the design, you're still tweaking the bad plane design, right? So it actually takes time to get recover your plane. Like if you if you crash into the lake, it'll tell you like yeah, there's like five minutes before you get your plane back. So you have to build another plane. So we're gonna do a we're gonna do touch and go, fly a traffic pattern around the field to land. I don't know if our plane here is going to really achieve this, but we'll try. Oh, okay. We our 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 plane is quite good, isn't it? It's a good. It's a real good plane there. Now, I did notice this, and I noticed that that was probably going to create problems for us. So we want to try and fix that, maybe. It, like, our, our plane is, is going to naturally want to pitch downwards, is, I believe, what it's trying to tell us there. So let's... Oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, almost. Uh, very close. Now it's gone. Now we've we've killed it. And I mean, like, this is a not, you know, this this plane doesn't have any locomotion, like any any means of, like, moving. So it might be that 30 kilometers is, is the most we can hope for. Throw. And hey, I mean, it does fly, right? It actually flies pretty nicely. It, it's, it's gliding. You can stall it. And then get, get a bit of air. This actually flies quite nicely. And then, and, and, uh, of course, yes, you can, um, destroy your plane. And what's fun about that, I mean, first of all, I, I love that it is balsa wood model flight simulator and not just flight simulator because crashing a, a balsa wood model plane is, is very satisfying. Um, and then, of course, you have to pay to repair your planes. Very, very good and very uh, costly. I don't think I'm gonna really make it that far with this plane. I don't think, I don't think, well, maybe. I mean, it is gliding, okay. But is it gonna make it to that airfield, do you think? You know, this is the, this is the process. Gotta, gotta figure out what, what is, uh, that was, that was really good. Just throw your plane. Or, I, you know, there's, there is a manual. You can read it if you really want to. So this this seems to cost us quite a bit of speed. 
it's it's a, a bit goofy, but I mean, I, I you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. Oh yeah, that's awful. No, whoa, oh, whoa, whoa. I know at this point, people are you know are are gonna be wondering, you you played this game? <laughs> you seem very bad at it actually. <laughs> and then uh, we'll see if this flies any better. Let's let's have a look. We oh. I did stall it. That was that was bas like I threw it too high, basically. So this is uh this is better. This is back to back to better like how it was kind of flying before. But this is actually flying really nicely. Oh, don't don't fly. Why am I flying it right into the lake? Yeah, there it is. Recover vehicle. Three minutes and twenty seconds. Dumb. Instead of make making a new plane, we just waited. I just waited until. <laughs> My plane was available again. Let's actually try and like complete a mission here. It really, it really, hmm. Hmm. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe not. First flight, could do like a seaward landing. I wonder, fly down off hills and land on the pier. Let's try that instead. I think that that one's actually much easier. And this one is uh, easier because you, because it's like you're starting higher and you're, um, your goal is low, then you you don't have to worry about losing air. You want when you're landing, you want to like stall out a little bit. Oh please, 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 please! Oh god! Oh, it went horribly awry. Oh my god! I'm I'm very bad at flying planes, actually. Uh, from what I know about flying planes, is like you want to approach in a way that you don't have like too much air, but you want to basically lose most if not all of your air just as you're landing so that you touch down in a way that uh you don't you don't basically crash so you want to like stall your plane right at the end there i still didn't make it okay that's this is looking okay just don't don't flail you know just don't flail around like you're doing right now like you're doing like right now okay stall it perfect well, it's a pass. You actually are, uh, right right now, you're kind of encouraged to do these missions more than once, even if you succeed. Because, I mean, first of all, we could do better, right? We only got a thousand points. Probably if I landed a bit straighter, it'll, it'll give me some points. If I get there a little bit quicker, it'll give me some more points. Uh, and you'll gain a bit more experience points. Um, and if you have any, like experience with Kerbal Space Program. This is looking really good, actually. Nice pro. Uh, if you have an experience with, with Kerbal Space Program, you'll know that, like, you do end up grinding a little bit, which is to say, like, doing a lot of missions that feel similar, if not, like, very much the same. We're gonna do, we're gonna do this one more time. Um, and that's, that's fine. It actually gets you a little bit more comfortable with, like, flying your vehicles. Ace! There we go. That's what you want to see. So we've gotten a bunch, bunch of XP there. I think, we, yeah, we, we did level up. We can, we can, we have access to paint now. We can actually paint our plane. So this is, this is actually pretty cool. Is you, uh, you can mess around with the inside like you place things inside the plane right at a certain point um you you will be placing things inside the plane including batteries um including you can even place a, a little pilot if you want and you can get like very intricate with that so i'm gonna place this motor inside but near the front that makes sense right because we're gonna put a propeller on it. It does look a little bit silly, but we can we can also tweak it just a bit. Just so just so the the motor's hidden and that that looks a little bit more normal. And we definitely want to put some wheels on it. Um we can put some wheels on it like this. And that's fine like basically you touch down with the front wings or the front wheels and then and then the back will just kind of sort itself out. We do need to add a battery though. So let's add a battery. So that looks okay. That looks like it'll it'll fly. So now we could like we could take this uh, touch and go mission. Okay. Oh, that battery is poking out a little bit. 
And I've missed I've missed our descent. That's fine. And I'm gonna I'm actually gonna lower I guess our thrust because I want to make a approach here. This is looking okay. It's a bit oof. Oh wait a minute. What? We have to take off again? Oh I was never gonna make that happen. Oh my god. Okay, so we gotta What do you mean, miss? I was gonna Oh, you listen here, buddy. There's quite a bit different from the, the beta, I gotta say. Our thrust is a little bit too aggressive. Oh. Yes, I understand that. I pressed the wrong button. Um. Oh, God. Yep. There we go. Crash. Oh, my God. It's horrible. Okay, okay, listen. End it. End it. Why? Why is the Why is the interface shaking? This is gonna be tricky. I don't. I, this mission was not available when I played, which is nice, but certainly uh, it's gonna take me a moment to to figure this out. Now I want to find. Honestly, I just want to find a moderate thrust that like. Uh, nope. See, we missed it. I want to find a moderate thrust that gives us some lift. But not too much, but I, I guess that's not going to happen because it becomes very difficult to fly. Oh god! Oh god! Oh my god! Oh, this is... this might actually make it. I only missed one ring. Uh, come on! And now, land it. Land it! No! No! Yes! Yes, that counts! No one... no one can tell me otherwise. It's... it's perfect. Um, I do know that that one's a that's actually a pretty tricky one You have to make a make a different plane with a bit more maneuverability there um, But I think this one is maybe closer to something that we we will enjoy Oh god, oh god, that was that wasn't it. That was not it. I also kind of hope that maybe there's a little bit more uh, near release like in terms of repairing your plane like I think something that would be really fun is like maybe there's um, different methods of repairing your plane. Like you could, if you're like running low on funds, maybe maybe you could uh, just like duct tape it. <laughs> have like a almost like a duct tape mini game where you have to like tape your wing back on. Uh, I I would really enjoy that, but I understand that that's probably not what the oh I crashed into the tree. No, I'm gonna miss- oh, I missed it. No, okay. Alright. I- clearly I need to make a better plane with a bit more maneuverability. The- the building of the plane is- is already really satisfying. I do hope that the, you know, like... Act, like the action figures coming soon will have like more stuff like this like maybe maybe we'll have missions where you have to add an action figure and then keep it safe like make sure it doesn't take damage manage your vehicles okay so you like do stuff like oh, i could sell i could sell my bad plane and buy a new vehicle stock designs oh i can actually buy this so we could we could buy uh like a a normal plane one that is actually like good and not bad it does actually have... Wow! Yo, this is a really cool plane! So this is what a plane looks like that wasn't built by a total doofus. Oh, it's actually really fun, though. Oh my god! It can do, like, barrel rolls and stuff! Woo! Oh, wow! That is, like, really maneuverable. Holy crap! It's like flying a knife. We're getting really good speed, too. I wonder if I could fly through that ring. No. Wrong way. Excuse me? Let's, uh, I, I kind of want to fly through the- Oh. <laughs> so I will definitely be returning to this. Uh, maybe when it has, like, more of a campaign, I might even do a series on this. Um, I know this is not my- the, the, ty the, the type of content I tend to- um, put on this channel, but I think you'll agree that this game is worth it. So much fun. I, I just love it. There's like a, a, a serious, like genuine joy 
in like engineering and and uh, flying planes, and I really appreciate that. If you've enjoyed this, um, let's try of balsa wood model flight simulator. Um, consider leaving a like, uh, leave, leave a comment if you'd like to see more of this in the future when, uh, you know, we re maybe the game gets a couple updates and, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.